What a drama. We are at the Inveronan. Am I pronouncing that right? Inveronan Hotel. Let me tell you what's been going on with this vlog. Um, since I last saw you, a couple of days have gone by and I've had no camera because the fantastic GoPro Hero 9 has let me down big time. Um, it, uh, it just came up with the SD card error and I was quite calm about it and knew all I needed to do was keep rebooting the camera until it stopped saying that. It was giving me the only option of deleting all the footage that you've just watched. Uh, so <laughs> that's assuming that it is still on that card. I'm pretty sure it is. So I didn't delete it and uh, just figured that that was the end of the vlog. But where we just stopped at Clifton Cottages, lovely guy there and a great place to stop by the way. I tell you, it was, it's by the uh, Green Welly shop, so you'll know that. And they sell SD cards in there, but not the small ones that I needed. Well, the guy that runs that place with his lovely wife, his wife's called uh, Carmen. Uh, he searched all over, he knew he had one, he found it brand new. And that's what we're recording on right now. So I'm pleased we're back and we're just setting off today, me and Sheila, Sheila's there. And um, there, there she is. So we're back on the trail. Happy to be back on the trail with you. And uh, we're heading towards Glencoe today. So what a drama. And I tell you what, it is hard work. This is a tough trail, this West Highland Way. Very underestimated. So day six, heading towards Glencoe. And we're on the old Parliament Road. Just been reading about it back there. I'm hoping to see a little bit of wildlife today. There's supposed to be deers about. There won't be many around if I carry on talking so loud though. <laughs> Do you know what? I was, <laughs> my plan here was that this was like a, a pre, a little, a little look into uh, long distance hiking so that I could take on the Cape Wrath. That was what was in my mind before I set off to Scotland to do this West Island way. Am I doing the Cape Wrath now? No, <laughs> never. I would be found. Someone put in the comments, you know, uh, of uh, on my build up to the West Highland Way, someone did put in the comments something like, this, <laughs> this lad's gonna be found on a hill somewhere. <laughs> a mountain rescue will be out for him. Well, do you know what? He won't fire off the truth because uh, underestimated this. This is about as tough as I wanna do. Really good exercise. Really good challenge for me and Sheila. Sheila is doing so well. She brought me through yesterday. We did uh, 20 miles yesterday. And in the last five, I was really feeling it. And uh, yeah, she pulled me through. So she's pulled me through twice. I had a meltdown, <laughs> carrying the heavy bag. I was gonna call it all in. <laughs> I'm supposed to be this tough guy. Look at the view. Wouldn't miss these views for anything. So glad, again, I've got to tell you, I'm so glad that I am on the trail, still doing this West Island way. And we have got many a mile to go. Sheila's right over there. Now, since I spoke to you last, when it all went wrong, let's just reset here. It all went wrong with the camera uh, and the SD card. And we were on our way to the bunkhouse. Um, Inversnade bunkhouse it was and we did stop there it was all right just about yeah a bit of a bit of a carry on there very uncomfortable would have been more comfortable in the tent so yeah the bunkhouse was okay we got there and right now we are heading towards Glencoe Mountain Resort that's going to be interesting and we have the bag sent on there the heavy bag <laughs> responsible for all the aches and pains in my legs right now. Carrying that bag, a nightmare. When I pick it up now, when it's been transferred between these places, and I just pick it up and move it from one place to another, I can't, I can't understand how I ever managed to walk 17, 20 miles with that thing on my back. But uh, yeah, the uh, mountain resort's gonna be interesting. We'll be camping out there tonight, 
looking forward to pitching the tent and getting in that. I'll get back to you when we get to Glencoe Mountain Resort and we are pitching the tent. We have arrived at Glencoe Mountain Resort. Look at the mountains. And uh, my pitch is gonna be over there, just on this piece of grass. We were lucky to get it actually, they're quite busy. So I'm gonna get that uh, tent pitched, sleep here tonight, and then we'll be moving on. Um, King's House. King's House is just amongst them trees down there. So it was quite a good hike today. Gorgeous views. So the temperature is dropping, getting a little bit cool now here at the Glencoe Mountain Resort. But we've got the tent pitched up and hopefully we're going to get a good sleep. We've got the stove again because we've got the bag and uh, going to get something to eat in a moment. Just had a little bit of a look around. It is getting done up right now. I don't know what this part's going to be, but it's a bit of a building site. I'll tell you what I've really enjoyed about being here at the mountain uh, resort is no midges, absolutely no midges. And the views just keep getting better and better. Good morning, it is day seven. Day seven, can't believe I'm still here doing this thing, day seven. When on, uh, on day two, I was ready to pack in. Last night on uh, Glencoe by the mountains at the uh, mountain resort, it was quite cold in the tent. I think it got down to uh, it got down to four degrees, so it was quite chilly. And it's still chilly this morning, nice and fresh, good for walking. The, uh, they do some uh, really good food over there. It's quite well organized, actually. Uh, the showers, uh, water, hot water even for washing your pots up. So really well organized, say you're out in the uh, mountains. I wouldn't mind uh, going for a hike up that mountain there. I bet it's interesting at the top. I think you can get uh, the ski lift up there. Ski lift, you might just be able to see it over there you can get the ski lift up there. So today we are heading um, from Glencoe to Kinlochleven, stopping over there at uh, a spot called McDonald's Camping, I think it is. Uh, we're stopping there and then uh, the next day we're making our way to Fort William. So I will see you on the trail. got to that stage we're on day seven and uh, I just know I'm climbing a big mountain all the way up here I've climbed and I'm looking forward to getting to the top it's a little bit rainy but it's keeping the midges down I'll see you at the top <laughs> that was the devil's staircase yes correct well spotted we have just done the devil's staircase and we've got all the way down here to go continue in the West Island way it's turned out to be a beautiful day. We are out of the way of the midges, of course. How are you feeling, Sheila? Yeah, day good. seven? Yeah, great. Fantastic. So good to have Sheila with me. Would not have done it without Sheila. Uh, as I have said before, we are approaching Kinloch Leven at last. And this last stretch here is so boring. They've recently done some work on the bridge back there. But it just kind of winds down and it's... Uh, a flat, boring road, quite wide, really heavy going on the feet. A lot of pressure on the toes. So uh, I'll be glad to get to the end of this. And uh, I'll bring you back when we get to our campsite. Good morning, a little bit bleary eyed this morning. We've got a fantastic view, the mountains, and we are on our way to Fort William. It is day eight. We've done this in eight days with one day off when all the dramas happened with the heavy bag. I've just dropped the heavy bag off at the baggage pickup point and that'll be taken to our hotel in Fort William where we will be having a glass of bubbly if we do it. We still have got a bit of a trek to do to Fort William so I'm looking forward to that and I'll catch you on the trail. Oh before I go let me show you the uh, little hut that we slept in last night. Here we go. And Sheila packing the stuff up. It's only tiny. Look how tiny it is. And we slept there, bunk beds. It was uh, very uncomfortable. But that's what you've got to do. So on our way now to Fort William, can't wait to get there. We are at the halfway stage on the section back to Fort William. It's going well. A little bit tired, just taking a rest under this not so shady tree. Hope I haven't picked up any ticks 
we've done well me and Sheila on this trip tick wise weather wise we have we have experienced getting soaking wet on the earlier stages there was it the second day yeah. second day we got soaked uh, but uh, from then on in it's only been mist sort of a mist rain um, what have I learned what have I learned it's been a great trip and I do want to apologize just now for the lack of footage obviously I, I did uh, lose the ability to use the camera and that really did throw me in it threw this vlog out a lot but I hope I've managed to make something out of it for you guys but we really have enjoyed it it's been a journey emotional journey and a physical journey a very physical journey very underestimated trip so I do apologize for the lack of footage but I've managed to salvage uh, this vlog that is if the footage is on the other SD card I uh, hope it is so yes we have just got about uh, eight miles left to do into Fort William so I'll have a word with you as we approach Fort William and uh, maybe another few little bits about what I've learned not long to go now about six miles and we will be in Fort William can't believe I got to this stage and thank you for all your advice what have I learned well I've learned that I'm still capable of biting off more than I can chew the ankles are pretty tight and you know what we've had no blisters Sheila and I have had no blisters all this trip and it has been grueling like I say it's the terrain the terrain is the bit that you don't you don't get an idea of watching all the vlogs about it and reading about it the terrain is really hard going so I'm glad that we're reaching the end and it's been a fantastic trip. I will see you at the finish. Yes, we did it. Me and Sheila are here. We made it to the end of the West Highland where that last section was gruelling along the main road. Uh, yeah, nearly brought me to tears at one point. Couldn't have done it without Sheila. Uh, and uh, that's it. That's it for this one. I hope you've enjoyed my little vlog on the West Highland way. This has been tough. I don't know where I'll be next time, but I know I want you with me. So until the next one, bye. Bye.